Hey, what's good everybody? Guy and Kicks here. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the latest New Balance 990V3 in collaboration with YCMC. I also want to show you guys a quick comparison between these YCMCs and the Bodegas 990V3s that released a few years ago. So with that being said, let me show you guys a quick look and let's get into this review. So these officially dropped on February 2nd, 2023 for a retail price of $195. These dropped exclusively through the YCMC website, and these are obviously an exclusive colorway to the local retailer. YCMC is a sneaker shop around the DC, Maryland, and Virginia area. They were first founded back in 1949 in Baltimore, Maryland, so they've definitely been around for a while now. You know, YCMC and New Balance have had other collaborations in the past. This is not the first one. They had a really good one last year, also using the 990v3 if you haven't seen their campaign this particular colorway is inspired by outdoor silhouettes and by those who blaze their own trail getting into this colorway on the upper primarily you're going to find the olive green color throughout the upper part of the shoe you're going to find some purples orange grays some off whites some greens and also some dark browns on the outsole of the shoe in terms of the materials and details starting with the inside part of the shoe you're going to find this textile material on the sock lining of the shoe the insoles are in this bright orange color and you're going to find that classic Lawrence Massachusetts clock tower with some New Balance and 990v3 branding as well. On the front of the tongue you're gonna find that classic waffle style design which on this version of the 990v3s looks really really good and I appreciate that a lot because recently we've gotten some 990v3s where you barely see that waffle design. These come out of the box with matching flat olive laces but they do come with a total of four laces which I do appreciate because anytime there's a collaboration and they throw in those add-ons it just makes the whole thing feel more special one of my favorite laces out of the pack are these orange rope laces it just gives the shoe more pop overall and it's just different to see a 990v3 with rope laces instead of flat laces as you come down to the toe box area you're going to be presented with the mesh underlays the uppers here have the mesh and also that really nice hairy premium suede on the toe box here you will find reflective material similar to both end logos and then all the way to the heel part of the shoe around the ankle collar where you'll find the made in usa scripted and that reflective material is also perforated a cool detail about this toe box is that they have these really nice soft new bug overlays that you'll also find around the ankle collar a lot of other 990 v3s the overlays on the toe box the new bug that they use is usually a little bit rougher and is perforated here they use a really nice soft new bug that feels really good moving over to the lateral side you will find the end logos also on the medial side the end logos do have an orange outline that makes the logos pop a little bit more all the way to the back of the shoe on the heel counter on the lateral side you will find the 990 model embroidered where usually you find it in like a metallic color and it's also scripted it's a really small detail and a small change but that just makes it even more special underneath the made in usa you have a small new book overlay perforated and then you also have that classic new balance branding there as well these are 990v3 so you will find that plastic heel stabilizer here they painted that in purple and you will find the new balance branding in black the cushioning system on these v3s features end cap and absorb absorb is basically the foam material that they used here and then end cap is basically a polyurethane rim with a small core of eva foam in the middle the colors on the midsole you have like an off-white around the forefoot part of the midsole and then around the mid part to the heel part of the midsole you do have a green color and it does have speckled paint on it and then underneath that you have a gray color flip it over to the outsole you do have endurance here which is basically a rubber outsole you do have a combination of colors here as well you have that bright orange color around the forefoot part of the outsole with that waffle type design most so the outsole it is in a dark brown color but depending on the lighting it might actually look black you do have the traditional carbon fiber plate there in the middle new balance branding all the way to the heel part of the outsole when it comes to sizing with the 990 v3 these are made in usa sneakers so for the most part most of my made in usa sneakers that i own i go a half a size down for my regular size 10 so for example a 990 v4 v5 992 993 for example i go a half a size down for my regular size for like non-made in usa sneakers like a 2002 r 1906 r for example those i go with my regular size 10. i'm also a size 10 in jordans most nike sneakers and also adidas as well when it comes to comfort with these v3 guys i've said it before one of the most comfortable sneakers that i own this midsole this cushioning system here feels amazing it has a really good balance of softness and firmness midsole here almost never flattens out and you will feel like this midsole can last forever so i highly recommend you get a pair of 990 v3s 
if you don't own one already. The sneakers do come in a regular Made in USA box, so you're not gonna get a custom, you know, YCMC, a New Balance branding box. And here you have the official tag in SKU. All right, guys, so my final thoughts on these YCMCs is that the materials, the quality, the construction, is done really, really well. Matt props to YCMC for picking these colors, picking these materials, and to New Balance for putting this thing together. I remember when I first saw this colorway, what, a week or two weeks ago, the first thing that came to mind were two things. I didn't really like the purple tongue on these, and I was also like, damn, they look almost exactly like the Bodega 990v3s they released a few years ago. So for example, if you were looking at these at a glance and you didn't know which one was which, you would probably say, yeah, that's the same shoe. But of course, here you have the YCMCs and here you have the Bodegas. As you can see, the olive on both of these is very similar. It's darker on the YCMC and it's a little bit lighter on the Bodegas. The suede on the YCMC is a hairy suede where the ones in the Bodega is just a regular type suede. Here you also have the also, so you can also make that comparison. And then all the way to the back of the shoe, once again, very similar, except that the YCMCs has like those Charlotte Hornet colors on the midsole. So in general, guys, if you own the Bodegas, do you really need these YCMCs? That's obviously something that you have to decide, especially if you wanna pay resale because the resale value on these YCMC is gonna be higher than the ones on the Bodega. Me personally, I still prefer the Bodegas over these YCMCs. They're a little bit easier to wear because they have a little bit more neutral colors compared to these YCMCs. But in general, guys, I feel like this pair at the end of this year is still gonna be in the top 10 of best New Balance sneakers to release this year. It is obviously because the overall color still looks really, really good, even though you do have some bright colors that for some people, Maybe that's not your thing. For others, I'm sure you guys are loving this bright purple and greens and all that good stuff on this colorway. So with all that being said, let me put these on, show you guys how they look on feet. Right, guys so that's it for me hopefully this video brought you a detailed look of the new balance 990 v3 and ycmc collaboration let me know in the comments below what you think about this colorway and do you agree with me that the bodega 990 v3s look better than these ycmc's and like always guys thank you so much for tuning in to all the new subscribers thank you anybody who's new to this channel this is your first time stopping by feel free to subscribe if you like the content like the video comment below i'll also leave my link to my instagram page below where you guys can go check out my page there follow me there as well i will appreciate it very very much i'll leave some affiliate links in the description below if you're interested in checking out that stuff and that's it guys catch you guys in the next one peace